Something that we have to do now is update the number all right, of notifications that have been unseen. It will be very easy to make the number of notifications that just there, right? Because you can just make object key, keys uh, length and finished. No, we need to know the number of notifications that are unseen, all right? So for this, I am going to do some nice JavaScript. But first, I'm going to import store mother store from store of course All right and here in the number I'm going to change it to store consumer All right and this gives me a store perfect now I need to go inside of every uh, notification and I need to see if it's seen or if it's not seen if it is not seen, I need to put it into a different array. And then I need to count how long is that array. So because there is a different JavaScript operation, I am going to create a new function here called get unseen. And this takes notifications, I think. All right, and it's going to return what I told you. So we need to give it here, store get on scene and we give her the store that notifications if you ever get lost with the store that notifications remember that this is your store now all right the state is your store this is how it should be all right so get on scene all right so basically we're gonna have an array of unseen notifications this will be empty done then later we need to we need to iterate and see which one is unseen. And the one that is unseen, we are going to push. So I'm gonna say object keys, what I did before. Notifications, all right, I'm gonna map and key. Perfect. And I'm gonna say if notifications key that seen, if it is seen, Sorry, if it's not seen, then I'm going to return unseen that push, and I'm going to push that unseen notification, notifications with the key. All right, that's it. And then I have to return unseen that length. So I take notifications, right? I create an empty array, and then I map through the notifications object keys then I check every notification if the notification is not seen I'm going to put it inside of the array on scene and then I'm going to return the length of this array all right let's see if it's working yay look at this three awesome now if I go to container and I change this one to true if been seen let's see if it's two yeah only takes two, sweet. All right, that's it along this video. You know what, let's make this one short, okay? If you have any questions with this, let me know. Um, yeah, basically just remember that when we have IDs, it's a little bit different, okay? And the reason why we have IDs and not only an array is because of the thing you're going to see on the next video. When we are going to delete or we are going to um, see a notification, okay? That's why we have these IDs, okay? It would be so easy if it was an array. If, it, if notifications was an array, all we'll have to do would be like this. Um, oh no, we couldn't. Because then we have to, oh my God, if notification was an array, it would be different. We need to filter it. It still be hard, sorry. All right, see you in the next video, ciao.